Good day to all of you. In the previous class, you learned about the insert menu. As you all know, during the first class of the first week, we learn something new. And in the second class, we revise the same. So in today's class, you will all revise what we learned in the previous class. Can you tell what happens when we use page break? With page break, we can break the page from the place where the cursor is at that moment and the page break will divide it into two parts. Can you tell what happens with field? By using field, you can do many things on your writer page like date, time, page number, author name etc. can be used. Can you tell what happens with hyperlink? Using hyperlink on your writer page, you can add any type of file through a link. If required, you can add more than one file to your page and you can use them simultaneously. Can you tell what happens with header and footer? As you all know, the header helps us in writing on the top of the page. Using the header, you can write the date and give any type of heading to your page. And with the footer, you can write the page number at the bottom of the page and can also type many things which you can show by inserting there. Now, all of you switch on your computer and open a writer file. In today's class, you will all revise what you have learned during the previous class like manual break, fields, header and footer, hyperlink and the picture option. Next, type out the paragraph being shown to you. Have you all typed out the paragraph? Next, all of you show how to divide the paragraph in two parts. If you have a doubt, then you should watch the video and learn from it. With this video, we will learn how to insert manual breaks in our writer page. To insert a manual break, we first need to put our cursor at the position where we want to insert the break. So we can decide if we want to insert a column break or a page break or a line break. In this video, we are going to see how a line break is being inserted first. So we bring our pointer to the position where we want to insert a line break. So, the cursor should be at the beginning of the line as is being shown in the video here. Now, take your pointer to the insert option of the menu bar and click on that and then select the manual break option. You see three options here, line break, column break, page break. Since we have to do a line break, we will Select the line break option and then press on OK. You will see that the line fr from where the cursor was positioned goes to a new line. So this is how you can insert a line break. If you do another insert of line break like it is being shown in the video to you, you will notice that another line, a blank line is inserted at that place. Now if we want to do a page break, we can select the page break which is selected by default, press on OK and you will see a fresh page coming up on your writer page and all the text after the cursor position goes on to the next page. Now write your name in the header and also show how you can insert the date also. Learn from the video if you face a problem. 
In this video, we will learn how we can get a header on top of our writer page. So to get the header, take your pointer to the insert option of the menu bar, left click on that and then click on header option and within that click on default. You will see that a header gets inserted on top of the writer page. Now type your name in the header. Like in the video we are showing computer shiksha is being typed. Next if you want to insert the date in the center of the header, use the space bar key or the tab to bring the cursor to the center. Go to insert, go to fields and select date and the date will get inserted in the header as you can see in the video. Next, open any one file by using the hyperlink. Note that this link should appear after the last line. If you face difficulties in doing this, watch the video. This video will help us practice how we can use hyperlink on our writer page. To insert the hyperlink on our writer page, you need to have the cursor at the place where you want to insert the hyperlink. Then take the cursor or the pointer to the insert menu of the menu bar. Click on that and then click on hyperlink. A page opens. It shows that the file can be in four locations, internet, mail in news, document or new document. By default, the document is selected. Go to the icon which says open file. Click on that. Now you should know where your file is existing. In the address bar, it could be in desktop or in documents or in downloads. So if your file is in documents, click on documents. Then scroll this bar and click on the file that you want to select for hyperlink and click on open. In this box, your address for the file will come. Click on apply and then click on close and you will see that the hyperlink to the file of your choice has been pasted on the writer page. Now let's see how we can open this hyperlink. Keep the cursor on the link and then press the control button with your left hand and press the left key of the mouse or the touchpad for two seconds and the file will open that you have selected. So this is the way that you can use the hyperlink on your writer page to link many files on this. Now. Use the footer option to insert a page number on your page. Note that page number should appear in the center of the footer. If you have doubts, watch the video and learn from it. With the help of this video, let us now see how we can insert our footer. To insert the footer on the writer page, Take your pointer to the insert option of the menu bar and click there and then select the footer and within that select the default option. You will see that your footer gets inserted. Now if you want to insert the page number in the footer in the center, press on tab and then go to insert option, select fields and select page number you will see that your page number gets inserted. Remember, if you want to insert anything in the center of the footer, you can click on the footer with the cursor or the pointer and then click with click on tab or press tab to get it in the center. This is how you can use the footer. Next, make a star and show the use of all the options of the line and filling toolbar. 
you have doubts watch the video and learn from it we will now watch this video to learn how we can use our drawing toolbar to use the drawing toolbar to make a drawing in our writer page we select one of the options from the drawing toolbar to do so bring your pointer let's say we want to select the star click on that and then in your drawing sheet drag so that a star appears now you see on top you have the drawing toolbar formatting bar so you can use the options there the first option here is to change the boundary line type so you can select the boundary line that you want to use for the star and once you click on that your boundary line gets changed to the selected one the next option is to change the thickness of the boundary line if you click on the up arrow it increases you can decrease it also the next option as is being shown in the video is to change the color of the boundary line you can scroll down or up and select any color that you like and your line will become in that color the next option is to fill inside the star so click here where it says area and you see number of colors appearing in the box scroll up and down and select the color that you want to fill inside the star once you select click on okay and you will see that your star has been colored with the color of your choice we will end today's class here since you need to save your file save it in the document and then close your file if you have doubts watch the video and learn from it now since you have to save this file let us watch in the video and take its help to see how we can save as you know you can save the file by using the shortcut command control plus s or you can use the file menu in the menu bar so take the pointer to the file menu and click on the file option as is being shown in the video remember we have to save this file in documents and then look for the save option and click on the save option here once you click on the save option a box opens as is being shown in the video now you should know where you have to save it in desktop or downloads or in recent places or in documents so now since we have to save it in documents we will select the documents option click on that and then come to the place where it says file name you can see in the video when we come to the place where it says file name and that line when you click the earlier name whatever is written untitled one you can delete that by backspace and then type your name for the file name like in the video we are typing file save and then click on the save option when you click on save your file gets saved and you can see in the title bar as is being shown in the video that the name of the file whatever you had given like in our case we had said file save it has come in the title bar so this is how you can save your file in documents and then properly shut down your computer in today's class all of you revise the insert menu options like what is a manual break what is field used what are special characters what is hyperlink what are header and footer and in the end we also did some drawing thank you